show. This is open mic. Ready? <laughs> that is right. It is KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM, 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon, and time once again for Open Mic Radio. All right, welcome to the show, and uh, we are going to get it rolling with one from our featured artist this afternoon. This is Mr. Drew Baxter. All right, thanks for having me. Welcome to the program. It is Open Mic Radio, KOPN, Columbia, uh, Saturday, the 28th of September. Good to be with y'all on another wonderful Saturday afternoon. Really awesome out there. Lots of great music in store for you for the next couple hours. And um, quite a few friends stopping by us. It's kind of common for this uh, 
Saturday afternoon program. Yeah, but anyway, fiends, Mike. Right, <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm glad we're I'm glad you're with us, and I'm with you. All right, we do this most every Saturday afternoon from four to six p.m. Live music and uh, in studio interviews with uh, some of Missouri's finest musicians and bands. My name is Mike Hagan. I'm joined. As usual, by my good friend, kind Kurt. Memphis yeah, is here. We got Clark C. Lark in the house. Thank you, all of my friends, for being here, helping out. All right. Uh, yeah, um, that's what we do. We feature awesome local and regional music and uh, the artists who create it. All right. Just a beautiful day out there, and I'm looking forward to the show this afternoon. We've got Drew Baxter with us. Hello, Drew. Hey, how's it going? It's really good. And uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of great music for us. We'll get to know him a little bit better and hear a bunch of his songs. Uh, we also have Ann Wright um, and the Downtown Poetry Club here to recite some poems for us this afternoon. The third year we've done this, as a matter of fact. I'm super happy to have Ann and the gang back with us. Also, um, a good uh, old friend uh, and um, sort of a blast from the past if you're... Uh, uh, <laughs> what if you've been listening to music around Columbia for the last 20 years or so but anyway um, uh, a band called Soft Crisis uh, they kind of make their home in the St. Louis area these days but um, a good friend of mine uh, who played around here back in the day is joining us in, in the studio as well so we'll have Rashad and Soft Crisis where they're playing at uh, Cafe Berlin uh, yes. right yeah, so um, that's happening later tonight, uh, Soft Crisis with uh, also Penny Marvel. I, I, I was on the phone with Will um, uh, Will Reeves from Central Cellar Studio. Will was actually on the radio last night with Kevin um, sometime uh, around 4.30 or 5, whatever, last night uh, between 4 and 6, the so-called Good Life. Kev Kevin Walsh does a wonderful radio program here. But anyway, he, he was on the air with Will uh, talking about just uh, – the music scene and uh, around here in general, but but Will runs uh, one of the most uh, prolific studios uh, in town, at least uh, Central Cellar Studios. Uh, m most of my favorite music that's come out of Columbia from the last 15, 20 years has been recorded there at, at, at Will's place. But he's also a, a really talented musician in his own right and uh, plays with a band called Penny Marvel. And they're, so they're performing this evening at Cafe Berlin along with Soft Crisis. Uh, and um, anyway, yeah, a bunch of great stuff. Uh, uh, the Downtown Poetry Club is here. We got Drew Baxter. And uh, we'll play a couple songs maybe from Soft Crisis sometime during this first hour. Okay? St. Gnome's on that bill, too. St. Gnome's on that bill as well. Yes. Cool. That's Barry and, uh, and, and, and that gang, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. That's All right. The awesome Mr. Dylan McCord is not with us this afternoon, although he wished he would be. So I want to shout out to Dylan, good friend, and uh, uh, another uh, heavy hitter here in the in the uh, Mid Missouri music scene. Right? Okay. So um, at some point we will try to do a rundown of some things that are happening around town tonight and tomorrow. We actually we we have um, uh, there's a lot to do uh, this this afternoon. And this He's evening, the Cafe Berlin schedule. But, well, we got that. In. Right. We also Work have we also have Nick Nick Danger's Hip Hop Unity Fest that's happening. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, uh, by Broadway. Uh, that's a, in, yeah. Uh, that sounds like fourth Shadow. fourth and uh, fourth and Broadway. Yep. Actually, Sea Lark and I were down there earlier this morning. We were we we, we were volunteering and helping out, kind of get 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 this thing set up, and that's going to be a fun event. It's been going on most of the afternoon. I think it goes until this evening. Right, Clark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's happening. We also have the uh, uh, Pride Fest is happening. I, 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 I think Pride, I think Pride Fest is today and tomorrow actually. But yeah. there's music and a bunch of stuff happening down Rose Park. Um, Rashara Knight and the Honey Doves are getting ready to go on at five. Rashara and the Honey Doves. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right. So and, that's on uh, Rose at the Pride. At the Pride Parade or the Pride Park or the Pride yeah. Festival. Cool. Yep. Rashara has been on the program here and, and, and the Honey Doves and and uh, talk about a. Amazing vocalist, remarkable uh, talent there. So, Rashara Knight and the Honey Doves at Pride Fest right about now. But what's happening there later? Do we know what's happening there later? Uh, pure Ecstasy Six. Pure and Ecstasy. I thought that's showcase. what this ra radio program was all about, man. This is they're, they're hijacking my vibe here, man. Uh, right? <laughs> Kurt's like do, shaking his head, can. like, no, it ain't pure. Wait. That's for sure. <laughs> it might be Ecstasy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like more of the natural things. Going down the <laughs> okay, anyway, lots happening around town. Get out there and have some fun, okay? Um, the phone lines, 443-8255 if you want to call and say hi. Uh, 443-7380. Both of those numbers will get you right here into the studio with uh, with the gang, and we'd love to chat and say hi, okay? All right, we are Did down you say here. cool and the gang's coming to chat and say hi? It's a celebration <laughs> this afternoon, all right? We are so down here at the KOPN on. facilities, our wonderful uh, facil- facilities here at 401 Bernadette Drive. It is an awesome, awesome afternoon down here. And, uh, yeah, last week we were here. What did we do last week? We we kind of just chilled last week. We, 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 we kind of took it easy. We played some local stuff. If, if you missed the show, you can check out the podcast. Uh, MikeHagan.com is the website. Uh, a couple more things, and we'll get back to the music here and the poetry. Uh, huge thanks to Peter Rabbit, grooving on the one mic uh, from from noon to four. One mic, awesome stuff, the best, uh, the latest and the greatest. Um, also, uh, what, what does Peter say? I'm sorry, I totally blew that. It's, it's the, uh, uh, the classics and the... Uh, Anyway, he plays a lot of great old hip hop and some great old. new stuff as well. So, anyway, that's uh, two to four every Saturday with uh, Peter Rabbit. We do it from four to six, from six to eight. Oh what my gosh! I got to turn the mics down. What happens? <laughs> Russia and a reggae party from six o'clock till eight. From eight to eleven, we've got Chris and uh, wonderful blues music with Blues on Broadway from eight to eleven, and. You know, there's a new show that's on now, 11 until 1 or 2, and I think it's called Late Night... What? What? what, what you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's called Rhythm. it's called Rhythms Updated of the Future. This. That's what it is. No, Rhythms of the Future. Okay, that's, that, that's at 11 o'clock. All right? Either way, keep it dialed here, KOPN, around the clock. All right? Your imagination station from here to your ear. Yeah. All right? Streaming at KOPN.org. Uh, Kurt's here. Memphis is here. Clark is here. Drew and the Poetry Gang are here. Soft Crisis are here. We are going to get ready to roll. Okay? Thanks for the help to everyone who got the show um, rolling. And... That's it, all right? If you want to be a part of it, give us a ring, all right? Um, meantime, we're just going to have some fun, play some Let's great music, and uh, do what we do, all right? Let's, um, uh, uh, one more time, kopn.org is a website, and mikehagan.com is my site. Today's show, we have an outstanding young singer-songwriter with us. His name is Drew Baxter, and we're going to learn a little bit more about Drew and um, uh, find out about kind of what makes him tick but uh before that let's have another song if we could drew would you like to do another one for us of course all right another one from drew baxter we will come back with uh some poetry and uh and some friends all right open mic radio kopn columbia and this is once again drew baxter you know i love you same four songs stuck in your head it reminds me of them good times that we had and every time you leave I can't help but cling on to every sweet word that you say oh darling I can still feel your head I could just sit here and be still While you dream of fields of lavender and honey You know I miss you so And I ain't seen your pretty face since Sunday So let's go to the market Twirl you around my finger when we walk hits you just right and I stop to take your picture while we're talking I dream of fields of lavender and honey. You no, know I miss you so. And 
know I miss you so And I ain't seen your pretty face since Sunday So let's go to the market Twirl you around my finger when we're walking Till the light hits you just right And I stop to take your picture while we're talking Right, and I stopped to take your picture while we're talking. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. yeah so, wonderful stuff. All right, I can't wait to talk with Drew and find out a little bit about where, where this guy's coming from because he's uh, sort of new on the scene, I, I guess, relatively speaking. I, I, um, and or at least in my, in my, uh, circle here so really really thrilled to 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 get to hear some songs from drew baxter and uh like i said we'll learn a little bit more about drew here in a little bit so drew thank you my, my friend yeah. um you want you want to get a, a, a quick little synopsis on that song i love it yeah uh that one that one was called uh, lavender and honey um i wrote it for my wife um and uh it really it really just came from we went to the the columbia's farmer's market one time <laughs> and uh it was like a beautiful day and uh, my my wife was looking real good, and you know, in her sundress, and um, I was like, man, this is this is a dreamy scenario. So I, I wrote it. a song about it. And lavender and honey. There's plenty of that down there yeah. at the market too. So yeah. All right, cool. I I I, uh, I can't wait to hear some more songs uh, from from Drew. Okay. All right. So uh, Miss Anne Wright is with us as well. Let's bring Anne here into the studio. Um, yeah, Kurt. Let's give her that one there. Um, we're, 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 hi, Anne. Great to see you once again. Good to see you too. We are one mic shy uh, this <laughs> afternoon. We've been sort of having a little trouble with this with this particular microphone on and off for the last few weeks. So um, I'll mention again to the guys. But any, anyway, um, mm-hmm. we've got a lot of people kind of coming through the studio this afternoon. So uh, give us a chance to get uh, get get the sound stuff uh, uh, right. Okay. All right. So Anne, um, we. We're talking a little bit off the air, and this is the third time that we've actually been together yeah. over the last, I guess, the last three years or so. Yeah. Um, for people who are unfamiliar, you are, uh, your name is Anne Wright, you're a poet, and you're also um, the founder, I guess, of the Downtown Poetry Club. Yeah, uh, we, we meet the first and third Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m. at the Armory, and it's just an open discussion room where we share our poems or literary works, lyrics, things like that. Uh, to just kind of uh, bounce ideas off each other, critique, and then you know celebrate the written word and spoken word in general. Too, where, so. where where does that take place? The Armory downtown. At the Armory, mm-hmm. and you do it every month. Yep, first and third Wednesday. Right, I love 7 it. Seven p.m. <laughs> cool. Uh, since last year. Um, uh, what, what's the what's the uh, uh, the environment been like what's the what's the era been like there are, are you having more participation the same uh is there a core group uh are, tell, tell me what's just what's happening uh well today we brought the core group in just because i do they'd be around and would be willing to participate today so that we've have we have up to probably 10 sometimes people come in so it's not a large group um but we all get together and there's normally enough time within an hour or hour and a half to share some work so but it's it's been good. We've been uh, sharing work and uh, bouncing ideas off each other, inspiring each other to write more. And what's the uh, what's the participation like? Do you, do you have uh, it, uh, new people that come and go? Mm-hmm. And is it is sort of like a cycling thing? Or yeah, you know, well, there I have some regular members that come in regularly, and then there's also uh, some members that just come in occasionally, maybe once a month or um, every other month or something like that, just whenever they can. So it's, do you, do you ever you get know. like any, like traveling people that are just kind of just happen to hear about it and they can be coming yes, through town like uh, oh I thought you know it's cool there's a poetry club and they do a thing or two. Yeah, there was a couple uh, from out of town that came last year, so and That's... and they shared their work and their books and it was great. All right, and so if people want to get involved, they just come down there. Yeah, or you can contact me. There, you probably have a Facebook group or something like that. Yeah, uh, there's also on uh, the Armory webpage you can find information there too i believe but is there like do you actually have like a contact uh like a social media contact type thing or 
Well, no, not at the moment. I probably should get that going. <laughs> Maybe you should actually. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I mean that really seriously. I mean, I mean clearly it hasn't been necessary up until now. So, and I'm I'm not an advocate of of most social media. In in fact, I, I, I will tell a quick side story you here. So you know how I you know how I do these things. But anyway, this one's worth telling. Worth telling. But um, one of not one of my best friends, but my best friend, uh, uh, his name was Kent Stedman, and uh, he passed away in 2008. Um, so tip of the hat to my, to my, my old pal, uh, Kent. But anyway, he, his son, um, Brian Stedman, was one of the original uh, engineers for Facebook. And um, this is like in the 2008 or 2009, and Brian was a young man, you know, 20 in his maybe 21, 22 years old. And he, and him and his dad came to Columbia here when we were having one of our solstice parties, Chris. Right. And Brian's like, hey, Mike, you got to check out this new, this new software that I'm involved with. It's called Facebook. And it's, you know, we're really trying to be like, it's going to be like this. I mean, they, no one knew what it was going to be. No one even knew what it was. But anyway, long story short, I was one of the first 10,000 users of Facebook. My, my original yeah. Facebook like ID was like one of the first... And I, I quit using Facebook in 2010 <laughs> before most people even knew what it was. Yeah. And so, and I'm really glad that I did. I, I do I do a little bit of social media now, only on Instagram for this radio program and for Booches, which I'm in, involved with on uh, uh, as a business. But Le Bouche. Le Bouche, Le Club Le Bouche. So <laughs> anyway, um, social media, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. So. Normally, we we communicate through texting threads and things just to get information that needs to be shared. Get going. Well, like whenever people come in, walk in, and then we exchange numbers or information, however they want to do it. So. I love it. Okay. Um, would you? Okay. So who do you have with us today? You have. Uh, this is Elizabeth Fitzpatrick, and then we have uh, Jordan and Jimbo here uh downtown poetry group members and uh they've they've all brought work to share if there's time no absolutely you know. there is yes okay. so what i'd like to do since you and um elizabeth elizabeth are in the studio let's have you both do a piece for us okay. then we will uh uh switch gears a little bit and i'll have i'll have the guys from soft crisis can, come in because they're going to perform a little bit later this evening at uh, Cafe Berlin, and they've got to get over there for a sound check and stuff. So we'll we'll spend a little time with them. But let's get a poem from from, from you and Elizabeth, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll read mine, and then we'll have her read after that. All right, uh, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, eighty nine point five FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. Uh, thrilled this afternoon to have Drew Baxter with us. We've got a bunch of the uh, members from the Downtown Poetry Club, and. Uh, um, Soft Crisis with us as well. So Anne Wright, though, uh, now is going to give us a nice little piece of spoken word. Okay, this one is called Black Dust and Bones. My bare bones began to cry. Days of our sun. Sawdust tears of rejection in the desert. Skeleton of my soul, of the soul in me they, that died reaching out for your drink. She said she'd rather grow up in a graveyard than a church. Your eyes look rough, drying for that drink of real tears, puppet tears for years. Walking through as a dead woman on stilts, eating the eyes of children to see once again. Hear the music, he says, ominous. The only thing with water in it here. A season, season, season of desert. Bruised hair, bruised gin, bruised skin. And they said the light was on in the school. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ann Wright, wonderful. Uh, would you like to give any, uh, any context for, for that piece? Sure, I think it might help the uh, listener, I guess. Uh, so it was just written from some like pain and suffering in my life. I use a lot of that to channel it into writing, to create something out of out of uh, whatever suffering I'm going through and so that one I, I I do get a lot of people say they like that one so that's why I decided to read it today I love it I appreciate it. thank you for sharing mm -hmm. it with us all right all right well uh, Miss Elizabeth uh, would, would you like to share something with us 
Um, sure. And um, as soon as I heard Anne's poem, I knew exactly what poem that I was going to do. All right. So, so you hadn't decided what you were going to read first. You kind of, I, I like that you kind of just yeah. go with it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a complimentary one. Um, it's called Often Am I Thirsty? All right. Please read it for us. Okay. Um, to Bethlehem, I turned my face and then I walked away. Though came to me disciples who called on me to pray. They spoke a word, a word made flesh, by blood and crucifixion. Three birds cried as I replied not, for I found I lacked conviction. In the nearby mountains, there lived a wise old sage. I joined him for a while, and the silence lasted days. Now I had carried water, and I had brought a cup, and though the wise man smiled when he saw it offered up, no thank you, said the wise man, though his voice was dry and rough, no thank you, said the wise man, for I have had enough. I saw that he was dying and asked him to rethink. No thank you, said the wise man, I have had enough to drink. As the sun shed, or, goodness, I'm so sorry. As the sun set, casting gold on the mountain's rugged face, I knew that each man's journey was to find his resting place. I sat up through the night then and watched the morning rise. A man was coming up the path, and as he passed me by, I offered him some water. Politely did he sip. Far has been your journey, said I. Long may be my trip. So thank you, said he then, and drank deep from the cup. Often am I thirsty climbing up and up. Often am I thirsty climbing up. Again the man drank deep, then handed back the cup. Often am I thirsty climbing up and up. Often am I thirsty climbing up. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a song here. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. It's Open Mic Radio, KOP in Columbia. We've got Anne Wright and uh, the Downtown Poetry Club. God damn, man, Elizabeth. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, th thank you so much. And and if I can talk about my my process for just a moment, please. It's, yeah. Um, it's do something so I don't have to. Oh, sure. It's um. So it's William Butler Yeats, that like classic poem, "Things Fall Apart, the Center oh, Cannot man. Hold," yeah. and then it ends with, "What rough beast? Um, its hour come at last, slouches towards Bethlehem but. to be born." And so um and so that's the um and so that's the um the answer there. And, um, you know, it just, part of it just, I mean, it came to me, and it was the same thing. The I second was just, coming was that poem, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And and when I came up with the poem, I was overwhelmed in the same way. I pulled over, recited the poem just out of nothing and wept. So thank you. Thank you. All I'm right. touched. <laughs> All right, I love it. Uh, it's Open Mic Radio, KOP on uh, Columbia. More poetry and more great music. Um, I'm going to play one now from Soft Crisis. Maybe we open the door here and we'll get these guys to, to roll in here, but we'll talk with Rashad and the band and uh, set them on their way. They're playing tonight at uh, Cafe Berlin, but uh, here's a little taste of what you might uh, be in store for this evening. Okay, it's Open Mic Radio, KOP on Columbia. This is Soft Crisis.
All right. Welcome back to the program. It is Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. That's a song called String from a band named Soft Crisis. And we are lucky enough to have at least a few of the members of the band. I think all of them here, here. in the studio yeah. this afternoon. And uh, I'm familiar with one from back in the day. His name is Rashad. And it's great to see you again, my friend. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we've been actually chatting about this for a little bit. We so have, yeah. To, so yeah. what we're, what, what we're going to do after, this is just like sort of an introduce. This is like, like our first date. but For sure, actually yeah. Actually, not for us, but for the rest well, of the band. Well, for us, we've been around the block together. Right. right? Yeah. But I would love to have the band come back here. You're performing tonight at Cafe Berlin. Right. Uh, sometime when you get a chance, we're going to bring you back here and have you perform live in the studio here or at the station, and we'll and we'll make it we'll make it. Thing we're right. in, and that'll be okay. awesome. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so uh, what have you been doing? Clearly, uh, lots of things for the last uh, number of years. Uh, and and I'm I'm asking you a personal question yeah. now, before we talk about the band because um, you were playing. Uh, music with the Cotton Mollers right. and Josh and and uh, and, and, and Brian and, and, right? and Johnny Randall and yeah 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 um, and then you were sort of uh, I, I think I guess say sort of off the radar for a little bit and, yeah and now back at it back so. at it yeah I moved out to D.C. I left Columbia in 2011 I was in D.C. for about five years and did then, you did you pursue a, a professional career yeah I became a lawyer so I moved out there to practice yeah and then I moved back to St. Louis and well I moved to St. Louis in 2016 okay and then I connected connected pretty quickly with Eric here behind me. All right, let's uh, say hi like, to the rest of the band. Yeah, you guys want to come say hi. So hi. this is Eric Siever. Eric Siever, right? Thanks Eric, for us. Yeah, Eric what's, what, what's your uh, role with the band? Um, I'm the hype man, I guess, mostly. Yeah, I just dance a lot on stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. and, um, <laughs> Looks I, and charm. I Looks and wear, charm. do wear a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eric plays the lead guitar. Yeah. All right. Eric on the guitar. And R- Rashad, what, what are you playing? Uh, uh, so, yeah, I play guitar and sing. still playing guitar yeah. and sing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, this is your bass player, I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 Garth. Yeah. Garth. All right. A uh, little bit about your background, Garth? So, yeah. So, gosh. How'd you, how'd you come across these clowns? Eric, John, <laughs> and I used to be in a band here in Columbia back in the early 90s. And I lost track. And somehow Rashad found Eric, yeah. and then they roped and John. And then I in, found John. And John roped me in. Yeah. All right. Okay. So John and John's a drummer. Drums, yeah. Okay. And what what uh, b- b- tie it all together here, John? Yeah. Right. So that and we actually played the three of us played at KOPN in ninety. Early 90s. 91 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. So I love it. At, at, in band, what, what was the name of the band, of that band? It was called Broken Ore. Broken Ore. Yeah. yeah. All right. when, Tough when getting down the river that one. <laughs> on Broadway, back uh, where you used to be on Broadway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So in 2020, at the beginning of the pandemic, we had all kind of locked up a bit. And uh, John and I started, I started sending tracks to John. I was just writing. And then John was drumming to them remotely. And that's kind of how the band formed. John sent stuff over to you know, it's amazing how, how, how many Eric stories back, yeah. uh, over the last five years kind of kind of started yeah. like that with collaboration using technology yes. and remote. Uh, performances or whatever, incredible. Absolutely right. Yeah, for us that was a that was a big part of it, and I think that yeah, I hadn't even met Garth before, and he was playing bass on tracks, <laughs> and uh, we all kind of met and we converged at John's place uh, back in I think 2021, and that's when we started playing out more. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, are you recording material? Clearly, you are. There's some yeah. stuff online here. So yeah, we just put out an EP uh, called "Things I Was Wrong About." So that we had uh, that can- <laughs> man. That, for me, that would be a full. That's a long list. Record. It's part yeah. one. Of, I'm thinking uh, part double, one of many. Yeah, that's a, that's a trip triple album yeah, for me, man. Yeah, and uh, so things I was wrong about, that came out on September 7th, and then uh, we're working on a follow-up already. We've already tracked most of that, so that'll be out hopefully in spring. Cool. Where, yeah. are you, where are you recording? How are you doing it? We do it, uh, actually, because of our roots, just kind of sending stuff back and forth. This one, we did drums. We tracked them in St. Louis at a studio called Firebrand, uh, and then we all did our tracks later, actually. We just did most of the stuff ourselves at home, and then we sent it back to the studio to get mixed. Cool. Yeah. All right, so tonight you're playing at Cafe Berlin. Right. Uh, you're playing with Will and our good friend Will Reeves yep. and his band Penny Marvel. Right. Also, uh, um, St. Gnome. St. Gnome, yeah. uh, an- another yeah. uh, sort, sort of staple around That's here for, right. for many, many years. Yeah, so. Their first show in five years. Yeah, yeah they, don't, they, don't, they don't get yeah. out very so often. So we're happy so. to have them, yeah. And this will be, yeah, we go way back. Have you guys with, played Berlin before? Yeah. Uh, well, no, actually, Soft Crisis is not. Last time we were in town, we played Rose. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, I uh, I hope you have a great show tonight Thanks, and Mike. have yeah. some fun. Uh, I'm going to play another one before you scoot out of here. You got, you got anything you'd like me to Yeah, play, maybe play? Providence. That was our, our second single. You played the first one. So, yeah, Providence was a great one. Let's do it. Uh, uh, maybe a little backstory on Providence. Oh, gosh. Uh, this one, I can't even recall when it was written. I think we wrote this one back in 2021, and then it kind of fell into place uh, in the studio. We just It was kind of on the back burner for a really long time, and then uh, – Eric did some cutting at the end there, and it really kind of stitched it all together. So we're really happy with how it turned out. All right, cool. Uh, plans for later this fall, winter, et cetera? We're, uh, yeah, we got some other gigs lined up in St. Louis, uh, and then we're looking at – we're starting now to book some stuff and dates out of town. Uh, we're doing a, probably a series of micro tours in the spring is what we're hoping for. All right. Yeah. Well, I love what you're doing. I'm, Thanks, so, I'm so glad that, really great that, that you're back in it. Yeah. So uh, let's hear one more from, uh, from Soft Crisis. This is called Providence. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. Hey, uh, people want to find you? Yeah, softcrisismusic.com. Uh, easy uh, enough. Yeah, right? easy enough. All right, cool. Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia.
how great is that, right? So Soft Crisis. Man, I love it. Soft Crisis, uh, catch them tonight at Cafe Berlin. They're playing with uh, St. Gnome and uh, my good friend Will Reeves and Penny Marvel, right? Okay, uh, it's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. This afternoon, we are um, fortunate enough to have a wonderful young singer-songwriter with us. His name is Drew Baxter. We also have the Downtown Poetry Club, or at least a few members of the club. Uh, Elizabeth is here, and uh, Don is here, and... Uh, Anne is here, and we're we're sharing uh, some of their uh, written and spoken word material. But um, we're, we're kind of going to do just like a round robin thing, is what I'm thinking here for a little bit. So let's uh, let's get back to our featured uh, musical artist this afternoon. His name is Drew Baxter, and uh, and we'll, we'll get a song from Drew. Before that, though, um, Drew, grab that mic and and uh, for people who aren't familiar, are, are you from? Where are you from originally? Yeah, originally I'm from Illinois, a little town called Greenville, about an hour east of St. Louis. East of St. Louis. Yeah. So southern Illinois. Mm-hmm. How far? How, how close to Carbondale? Where I went? I, I went to school there. That's the only oh, reason why I'm, I'm not sure. It's a little. It's a little more north than Carbondale, but very small sure. town. I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 It's about seven thousand people. There's a university there that a lot of people, if they hear about Greenville, they say, "Oh, you know, Greenville University's there." So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, how'd you make your way here to Columbia? Yeah, I went to college uh, at a little in a little uh, Bible college in Moberly, up north, about forty minutes uh, for four years, and then I moved down here after I got married to my wife Lindsay. Um, she grew up here, and she's going to Mizzou um, and finishing currently. up. Yeah, currently. Yeah, cool. she's got one semester left, and then um, so that's why I moved down here. So. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm thrilled to have you in our in our community. Yeah. Thanks so thanks so much. All right. Let's uh let's do a song. What are you gonna sure. play for us? Yeah, I'm gonna play another one of my originals. Um, this one is called Never Knew. Um, I got a, I got a whole list that I'm is just going to Is it Never Knew with a K or without? Yeah, yeah, yeah Never Knew. Um, it's about, uh, long story short, it's about um, friendships that, that drift apart um, after, um, you know, a lot of people say, like, after high school, you don't really keep a lot of your friends. In high school, you make the most of your friends, like, afterwards and things like that. And um, this is a, a song uh, that stemmed from that. Um and uh, just like growing up in the the sorrow that you that you get from uh, losing friends, but in the end, it's it's probably a good thing if that makes sense. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's have another one here. It's uh, Drew Baxter. You listen to it. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, and uh, yeah, check it out. Here's Drew. Dark one. 
won't catch you while you pass the time. And when you need a light, I'll always come around. Then I held your hand in your darkest hour. Never know you like I know now. Absolutely wonderful. All right, it's uh, Drew Baxter this afternoon with us on Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. Hope you're enjoying the program. Lots happening this afternoon out there uh, in uh, Como land. Um, if, uh, if you're out and about, give us a call, 573-443-8255, 573-443-7380. Either one of those will get you in here uh, with us uh, and the gang, all right? Okay, so, um, Drew, how did you learn... the uh, to play guitar and harmonica and this sort of stuff. Do, do, do you have a musical background with regard to family and stuff, or did you learn it all on your own? Or Yeah, so <clears throat> um, I grew up playing uh, playing guitar and, and things like that, and starting in church. Uh, my, my mom and dad were super involved in our uh, church community playing music, and since I was like 11 years old in fifth grade, uh, my dad put a bass guitar in my hand and showed me a few notes, and then... Uh, and then the next the next day he was like, "All right, well, you're playing on Sunday in kids' church," and uh, that's really where it started. Um, and it was terrible starting out, but uh, well, it then, always is. Yeah, yeah, right. it was a lot of fun though. My my two I have two younger brothers, um, and and they both play. Um, one of them plays guitar. The other, my youngest one plays uh, plays drums and. Um, so that's how we that's cool. How we started. Did you ever do like a family too. band sort of thing? Um, you know, not like. Official, just like here and there, you know, in our community. just jamming at home yeah. or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a good time. So, yeah. and then seventh grade, I started um, playing guitar and getting into a lot of like um, old folk music and and things like that, and um, really resonated with that stuff. And um, and that's I, that's I'd say that's where my uh, influence comes from is you know things like that. So. Early early uh, old country, early folk. Yeah, that kind yeah, of yeah, stuff for sure. Yeah, G- give me some names. Uh, well, I, I really I really love Towns Van Zant. Um, John Prine, uh, Guy Clark. Um, I love Guy Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then when I was 12 years old, the Lumineers uh, came out with their first debut album. Yeah, wonderful and, record, actually. Yeah, a 12, you know, for a 12 year old kid who loved guitar, that was like the best album in the world. I, I learned every single song um, on that album and can play them from memory, and that's how I, 
I was like, dang, this is this we might, is we might have to ask him to play stuff. a Lumineer song for us <laughs> yeah. later in the front. I don't know, we'll, so, right? Should we do it? We'll see. All right, okay, cool. Well, uh, I have some more questions about music, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little. Uh, uh, we're, we're gonna have a little poetry here. Yeah, if you don't mind. So you take a break it. here, and um, we'll bring uh, we'll bring Anne and Elizabeth and Don back in the studio here, and uh, and once again the uh, Columbia Downtown Poetry yeah. Club uh, is a. Uh, Wonderful organization that Anne yeah. Wright sort of, uh, uh, I guess, founded. Uh, how, how long has the has the poetry club been together? About four years. I was going to say four or five years for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, they meet every second. No, they the the second and the fourth Tuesday. Close. The first and third. So. First. And <laughs> 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 okay. Anyway, uh, twice a month down at the Armory, mm -hmm. uh, downtown Columbia. If you want to find out more about them, um, and I think your email address is probably the best. Uh, way, yeah, I right? can give my email address. It's a n n w two three five two three at gmail. A n n w two three five two five at gmail. Yes. Did I remember that correctly? I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If not, you could just walk in the armory, and um, or you can call up there, and they can refer you to me, and we'll, All right, we'll, cool. we'll get you taken care. And you do it in the evenings. Uh, is it like a lo does it, it does it go like for hours, or is it just depending on on how much uh, how many of you are there, and how how much sort of uh, uh, content is available? It is dependent on content and how many people are there. Normally, we run a half hour to an hour. Um, if they'll let us stay late, then we, then then we can stay a little late. But I think they they kick us out about eight thirty at the at the latest. So okay, all right. So um, we have a gentleman here who's going to uh, read uh, a poem for us. Don, I believe, is his name. Nice to meet you, Don. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe a little bit about uh, uh, what, what you're going to read for us. Or not. Uh, you just read the damn thing. I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, some people are like, no, I have nothing else to say. I just want to read my poems. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I landed in Columbia here in 1973. All right. So, yeah, I've been here ever since. You 27 know. plus 24, that's 51 years. Yeah, Columbia is the center of the universe. It's right in the middle of Missouri. And uh, Missouri's right in the middle of the United States. And uh, there's people from all over the world that come here. The heart of the heartland. To, to go to school and work. And each one of us is the center of our own universe. So when you're here, you're in the center of the universe. Okay. Uh -huh. I, agree. I guess I, I can't argue with that. Uh, I made that up, but that's the truth. <laughs> uh, and and uh, you're, you're a, a poet, among other things, I'm guessing? Well, yeah, I do a lot of different things. I had a bunch of poetry that got the... Uh, Destroyed in a fire that the people had started and burned my house down. Matter of fact, my one poem is about that today. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, I do all kinds of, you know, I've worked on houses and cars, and I think I, I tell people everything from the sewer to the roof and everything in between. And so, <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you read a poem, poem for us? All righty, well, like I say, this is, uh, uh, burn it up. Burn it down, burn my home to the ground. All my work, all my hope, charred in ashes up in smoke. Stuff and things, dead and gone, now life's question, how to carry on. Remember and dwelling in the past, old ideas last and last, thinking, thinking about too many things, thoughts of sorrow, stings, stings, stings. New life now. What's past is past. Old ideas can't last and last. Young life now, start anew. Old ideas are through. Live this day, good things to give. Pres present time, loving to live. Thank you, now, giving me a smile. It's living here all the while. Today is good, all it can be, giving its gifts to you and me. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Um, are you uh, writing poetry like regularly? Is it something that you do or, 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 or is it just sort of a side project or how did you get involved with the, uh, with the, with the poetry group? Well, I found out about them, so I hunted them down, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 
What will usually happen, I'll, I'll wake up at, at night sometimes and have an idea about something, and maybe uh, a couple, three, four lines come to me, and if, if I and I got if I don't write them down right then, then it goes away. But if I'll write the first little bit down, and then later I can come back to it. And, oh yeah, because I had the idea, and then it, you know. Do you journal it, or do you kind of keep a, a, a notebook of stuff like that? And yeah, I do keep it. You know, try to keep that. Like I say, a lot of my stuff burned away, so. Uh, so this is my new life now. Uh -huh. right. um, well, the, 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 what was it that uh, that that Blake said about um, impermanence and about uh, about the aesthetic experience? William Blake, I think, and I'm paraphrasing clearly, but it was something about the the aesthetic experience is meant to be passing. It's meant to be. Uh, it's meant to not be permanent. You see it. You experience it. You 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 take what you got from it, and then and then it, and then it goes away. And in fact, I think that like uh, the opposite of that was pornography. I think is what Blake actually <laughs> called it. You know, it was that like if you bought a piece of artwork or a po or anything, and, and you actually like wanted to frame it and put it on your wall, you know, to 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 to, to boast about it, so so to speak, that was that was pornography. It, it wasn't about the aesthetic experience. It was about um, you know, showing off what you owned or whatever, but the but the real experience of art, and and this and this is, uh, in the sense of music, poetry, visual art, whatever, is about the experience in the moment, what what it, what it feels like when it's happening, and that's a passing thing. You can't you can't frame it and you can't put it on your wall, and um, and I, I'm I, I like I like that. So in a way, uh, the passing of your uh, of some of your work is is appropriate and uh and it makes way for the new stuff so anyway that's just my take <laughs> so <laughs> all right um and before don can respond i better get a better get a another poem perhaps from uh from miss ann wright who's uh sure. here with us as well this afternoon sure you want to do another one for us Anne? yes uh this one's called uh silence all right, it's Anne Wright. Once again, the Downtown Poetry Club, if you'd like to get involved, they do, they do it uh, twice a month down at the Armory, and uh, and it's a bunch of very interesting and cool and thoughtful people. So, yeah, all right, Anne, please. On top the bleak, riding top it, the wave, sinking its storm, I wait for the sun. Not the bright set of its demise, but the dim glow of its rise. No shade abide my eye, a curtain cast aside, yet a burn I do not seek. Give me that placid dawn light, that smooth fairy dreamland, a light plain and nice, for high noon hides no scar. Haze and early fog, light waned by the clouds, an easy understanding of flaws, but will that make a sound? And, so, yeah. And uh, I, I, do you, when did you become a poet? How, how when did you do, like decide? Like I want to write these things and 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 share them with people or whatever because I mean I I'm not even sure how it happens maybe maybe it's just like anything I guess you just decide or whatever but I I've, because it's so foreign to it's foreign to me so I just don't yeah yeah well I always I think I, it's strange because it was a, an assignment in fifth grade I was supposed to write a poem and I had no idea I could write well. And I just wrote a, a poem for an assignment in class and then was accused of, like, not writing it. My teacher was like, you had help with this, didn't you? And I'm like, no, no, I, I, I wrote this. And it was, I guess, a compliment in the end. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, for sure. So that's when I started writing. And I continued throughout my um, adolescence and 20s just kind of like more as a hobby and um how how big a part of it is, of your life is it i mean is it i mean and i honestly i i really know nothing about your out outside of our you know connection here at radio i mean i don't know what you do professionally or if you're independently wealthy or if you if you make if you make money on your poems or uh uh what, what percentage of your life is is this uh percentage of my life um i mean there are times in my life where i'm writing heavily and then times where I'm more so contemplating what I want to write and it takes forever to kind of get it on a page. So 
Uh, it's kind of hard to say percentage wise, but it's always a uh, the heart of my life. Um, I think what and how I can relate with other people, expressing myself through this kind of art. And um, you know, I'm not independently wealthy. I do have a day job, so. <laughs> And I, I do have a lot of downtime on my day job so that I, I can take time to write if I need to. So Do you um uh are do you publish any of this stuff or, or are you planning yeah. on doing that or Yes. Um I have one published book. It's it's on it's still on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and um I published it in two thousand twenty. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've published thinking about getting a new book done, but we'll see. If that comes along. And you have enough material? Yes, um, I I barely, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm, I'm sure happy that, that, that you're doing it and that and that you're doing the Poetry Club. It's so, it, it, it's so cool. And uh, when, 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 you, when you come down here and do the stuff for, for, for us, I'm always, you just remind me that I'm glad that you're doing it. So. Well, thank you. I'm um, happy to be here, so. Let's have let's have Elizabeth maybe grab a microphone and see if we'll get another poem from uh, from Elizabeth here. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. We're just about top of the hour here at 5 o'clock, so let's do the FCC stuff, all right? Uh, 89.5 FM, streaming on the web, kopn.org. Yeah, it's uh, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. My name is Mike Hagan, and we're doing a show this afternoon. It's called Open Mic Radio. We do it Saturdays from 4 to 6 p.m., and we do live music and interviews with awesome people. Um, and uh, we're proving it as we do every week. So uh, uh, Elizabeth is here. Anne is here. Don is here. We've got Drew Baxter with us playing some wonderful music. Kurt, Memphis, Clark are with me, as as I always hope that they are. So let's get another poem here from um, from Elizabeth. But but before so, Elizabeth, um, a little bit about your background. You're, you're from here originally, or where are you from? Um, I was born in Iowa, and um, I came here for um, college in um, 2000. I studied very impractical things like um, <laughs> um, uh, deconstruction and modernity and just ridiculous stuff. And <laughs> and so I'm I am an office worker now. <laughs> All right, and you but you're but you're you live here in the uh, Columbia I, area or whatever. I do. Okay. Um, would you like to share another one with us? Sure. Um, and so to preface this one a little bit, um, there's a very famous poem called Kubla Khan yeah. by um, Samuel Taylor Cole. Goodness, I'm sorry, Coleridge, yeah. where it goes, in Xanadu did Kubla Khan a stately river or a, a I'm sorry, manner. a stately pleasure dome decree. decree. It, it doesn't take me all day. Um, where Alf the sacred river ran uh, through caverns measureless to man down to a sunless sea and so he was in an opium dream and then somebody woke him up and the rest of the poem was um, lost and there was one other part where it said a damsel with a dulcimer in a vision once I saw it was an Abyssinian maid and on her dulcimer she played so uh, let's see here and so um, my poem is a response to that uh, it aims. I, to be- I I I feel like that's a trend. Do you, do you tend to, to read things and then and then write responses to them? I think you felt I felt they, like that on your first poem. Um, they frame me um a little bit, a little bit in some ways. I I, you know what? I was thinking about it. Um, I do keep submitting to the Missouri Review, and they never. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think that I do long to be recognized as an academic poet, but I only have a bachelor's degree. I'm probably not there. You so. know, the degree has nothing to do with it, as far as I'm concerned. But at any rate. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, So this one is called uh, The Gilded Dome, a Fragment. Um, In caverns of a heart that beat in measures deep and slow, a damsel played a dulcimer beneath the gilded dome. Deftly did the damsel pluck her strange and charming song. Sweetly did she sing a tale of earthly passion strong. Above ground, in a jeweled crown, the emperor with face cast down, looked upon his kingdom vast, and knew that his works would not last. Unbidden came to him a rhyme that with the damsel's song kept time. As sweetly music pulled him under, the emperor began to slumber. Deep he walked in darkness, though stars above him gleamed. He lost himself to musings and wandered through his dreams. The limpid moon observed him throughout the tranquil night, its beams illuminating visions wondrous to his sight. Within the ancient forests, he met a silver deer, whose eyes were deep with mystery and light that called him near. It led him to a clearing and showed him waters still, 
The noble heart said only to him, Do thou what thou will. He looked upon the waters at the birth and death of days. High above a hand was writing with a pen on page, and floating under water was his true eternal face. Flowed the waters quickly then through chasms made of stone. Rough became the waters and there came unearthly groans. Through valleys deep the waters flowed, murmuring in whispers low. He followed to a red stone cleft, though slowly, for he still had breath. There he beheld a water's source, a, wa a rocky path, a winding course, to towering abora ringed with clouds, echoing round it trumpets loud. He climbed up to the mountain's crest, a golden beast lay there at rest, with seraph's face and violet mane, writ on its forehead was his name. With human voice the creature spoke, it spoke of death and yet of hope. Why come thou seeker, pilgrim child? I am not gentle, nor I mild. Tame or untamed, Khan replied, may you run and may I ride. Know the day is coming, said the creature, near or far, that I will reach the heavens and I will eat the stars. Nothing came before me, nothing shall remain. I am the squaring of the circle and I long to leave this plain. The creature gave a roar and on that great and golden beast, Khan rode along the river Alf till sun came from the east. In Xanadu, sweet music drifted, with face now bright and spirits lifted. The emperor awoke from slumber, most perplexed but full of wonder. Again a rhyme ran through his mind, again, again, time after time. Travel to the depths unknown, underneath your garden grown. Travel to the depths unknown, for in thy heart thy truth is shown. <laughs> wow, I love it. Thank you. You, you. you have a sort of apocalyptic uh, uh, tone to some of the things that, that, that you recited, at least the, the, the two that you've done today. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's a general uh, sort of angle, um, but... It's I, an interesting thought. You know, I, I, I wrote a poetic cycle that culminated in a psychotic episode. And so it's it's um, once something like that happens, it's a it's a, it's an encounter with the infinite that you don't quite mm. get over, and you're just grappling with it again and again. And a consciousness that can be dissolved dissolves again and again. For yes. poetry. No, so, no, yeah, poetry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, and and in, in a physical sense too, as as a human being, it can happen, and you can be broken down essentially, and then have to be ha have to rebuild yourself or be rebuilt somehow. Precisely. Yeah, um, the. Uh, when you started that poem, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm more of a music uh, sort of a buff than I am poetry. But I do, but I do like, I do like poetry. Um, I do, I'm just not that well read. But uh, there's, but Xanadu, um, the band Rush. If you remember the band Rush, uh, you know the three piece from Canada that was so, so famous. Uh, you know in the in the '80s and '90s or whatever. They actually had a song called Xanadu, and uh, and there was a lyric that was to seek the sacred river Alf, to walk the caves of ice, to break my fast on honeydew and drink the milk of paradise, and it's it it's a wonderful uh, album. The actual whole album is like this sort of theme record with this stuff, but uh, I, the, the the story is not lost, you know. It isn't. So, yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's um, say thank you to everyone who's listening to the radio program. I want to make a shout out. I'm, I'm getting a lot of text messages here, even though my phone is turned off. So uh, uh, hi ho to, to Richie Poo out there uh, in Colorado, um, uh, Mallory in Arizona, my friend Gunter listening from uh, Kaiserslautern, Germany. Hello. Um, anyway, lots of people all around uh, listening to the program and appreciating it. So thanks to everyone out there. Hi to Johnny. Hi to, hi to, hi to Dave. Hi to Mike. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, t thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've got Drew Baxter with us this afternoon. We've got the Columbia uh, Downtown Poetry Club. Uh, Soft Crisis was, us, was with us just a little bit ago. They're performing this evening at uh, Cafe Berlin. That'll be a great show, along with uh, St. Gnome. And um, uh, who, who, who the hell else? Um, oh, and Penny Marvel. It's Penny, Will's band. Penny yeah, Marvel, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, see if Mr. Drew Baxter wants to play another song for us here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Drew. Why don't, why don't you do one for us? Let's. Um, I'm going to have uh, Elizabeth. I'm going to have you shift this microphone that way, and then Kurt will take care of things here. So. Um, you're fine where you're at, though. Drew, are you recording? Um, 
uh, any or you have plans to record anytime soon? You know, Dylan and I, um, uh, McCord and I are, are good friends. In fact, I miss Dylan. He's not here this afternoon. He's at, actually out earning some real money, uh, work, working, work, working for, for, for something out there. But um, I know he's uh, uh, been uh, really excited to, to get to know you and, and, and to and, and to play a little bit with you. Uh, do you have Do you have anything? Uh, tell me what you're thinking about about the future. Yeah, uh, well, Dylan's a, a super awesome guy. I love, um, I love getting to talk to him and, and hearing his his music, um, and uh, we <laughs> <Yar>. yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> we have been talking about maybe maybe recording some songs, um, but you know nothing concrete has happened yet. I think we're both just really busy lately, but um, it's it's definitely on my on my mind. Something I, I really want to do, um, and uh, and he was. Um, he was gracious enough to, to offer uh, to help with that. So we're um, we're talking we're we're in the talks uh, of doing something together. Do you so. do you have um, how much material uh, do do you have? Are, are you are you writing regularly? And uh, uh, well, all like, the stuff I have for the most part, you're getting all of it today. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am trying to write more and um, and things like that. Um, uh, t- talk to me quickly about about that. I mean, is it a process? Do you do you write? Um, Regularly, do you have do you have a uh, do you have a process to, to sure. write? Uh, you know, some people write. You know, they have they have you know they get up every day and they do it at this time. And yeah. some people just wait till they're inspired. Some people are always inspired. It's like it's interesting. Yeah. Well, um, I will just say I I resonated a lot with what uh, what um, these guys were. What, what were Anne saying. was talking about. Yeah. Um, and and, uh, and Don and and um, it's really it's really sporadic. You know, I because. Um, Songwriting is is a form of of poetry, at least the way that I that I look at it. I, I, I um, absolutely. So yeah. so when uh, so when they said, you know, sometimes I have an idea and then I write it down and come back to it. That's that's exactly what I do. You know, it's it's different um, every time. Every song comes out differently, or maybe I'll maybe some songs I, I sit down um, and can write the whole thing, and some some are just uh, you know thoughts or lines that I have or I've written down and I have to come back to and, and finish it or um, so it's, I'm not, uh, there's no like routine for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so Fair enough. Um, All right. Well, cool. Play another one for us. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, this one's called All Right. Uh, I wrote this about two years ago. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. It's, it's open by radio. KOPN Columbia. All right. I'll be quiet. So it's uh, Drew Baxter. Six years old in the yard, chasing rainbows, but he don't get too far. Twenty bucks on his birthday card. His daddy plays him songs on his guitar. When the thunder rolls, he holds him tight. His mama looks him in the eyes and tells him it's all right, it's all right. <coughs> Fourteen years old, thinks he's all grown. Mama finally let him stay home on his own. Learned to strong, now he's picking songs. He hopes all the girls will sing along When the doors are closed Mama and Daddy start to fight He looks his brothers in the eyes And tells them it's alright It's alright <coughs> Seventeen Ain't grown yet Starts to cuss and fight and puff on cigarettes And at night He gets no rest Tears well up his eyes and he chokes on his regrets He gets down on his knees and prays to Jesus one night The good Lord gives him all his love and tells him it's alright It's alright It's alright It's alright $20 
22 Now he's 23 Counting down the days when he is finally free He'll get down On one knee Ask the girl he loves if she would like to be The one that he holds on to Even when they fuss and fight Cause when he looks her in the eyes He knows it's gonna be alright Be alright Be alright Be alright Be alright All right. The wonderful Drew Baxter with us this afternoon. Okay, awesome stuff here. Let me quickly say that uh, this program is brought to you in part by Housekeeping and Maid Service, Tidy Keepers Express. Locally owned and operated and in business since 2013, Tidy Keepers Express can be found on the web at tidykeepersexpress.com. And uh, you can also get them by calling 573-303-0336. Tidy Keepers Express, right? Appreciate the support of... KOPN, and I appreciate all of my guests this afternoon. Mr. Drew Baxter playing some wonderful songs for us. We've got Don and Ann and Elizabeth uh, reciting beautiful poetry. Soft Crisis was here a little bit earlier. You can catch them tonight at Cafe Berlin. You know, we're so fortunate to have such a great art scene here in, in mid-Missouri and right here in Columbia, and um, I say it all the time, but I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. So um, let's... Um, See if Don will read us another poem. You want to do a poem, Don? Yeah. All right. Uh, Kurt, thank you for helping out with the microphones here. And um, certainly, is my mic all right? Your mic's all right. All right. Yep. What are you going to do for us, Don? Oh, this is one I actually wrote about something that actually happened. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> While it was there, and you'll be able to tell when I get done in a. Uh, you know, right downtown. Anyway, okay. <laughs> City meetings, citizens greeting, giving greeting, council getting, continue regretting, speaking from the floor, please listen to more. Law enforcement waiting at the door, complaining community asking for more. Comments abound, can't shut them down, can't find direction from any section, what to do when they come after you? Is it fake or real? Who is really behind the wheel? Give us a break, not a heartache. Give us time to speak our mind. Students of university giving such diversity. Ideas all around, sometimes mentally sound. Can we stand it for a while or just stand up and Walk out the aisle. No matter which way you turn, it's great to adjourn. <laughs> if you've ever been to a city council meeting, <laughs> all right, you'll appreciate that particular poem. Um, wonderful. I love it, Don. Thank you. All right. Uh, how about, uh, is it Elizabeth? Sure. Oh, we got a phone call here. Let, let, let's... Uh, Let's see if let's see if someone if if we can actually, you know, how often does that happen? Right, it's <laughs> open mic radio, KOPN Columbia. If you want to call five seven three four four three eight two five five is the number to do that. You can chat with myself and Ann and Don and Elizabeth and Memphis is here and we got um, Drew Baxter in the house. Um, if I missed you, uh, I'm sorry. So call back please five seven three four four three eight two five five. Or five seven three four four three seven three eight zero. Okay. All right. In the meantime, um, I, if you're just joining the program, we have live music this afternoon from Drew Baxter. We've got uh, poetry from the uh, Downtown Poetry Club uh, here in Columbia, Missouri. Ann Wright and uh, Elizabeth and Donna here with us. Um, we had uh, a little visit with the. Um, uh, the guys from Soft Crisis who are performing this evening at uh, Cafe Berlin. That's going to be a great show tonight with um, with uh, St. Gnome and, and Penny Marvel. So anyway, lots happening this afternoon, and uh, we're just going to kind of keep it rolling here. So um, Elizabeth, is it your turn? Uh, sure. Am I right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not, not that it really matters, but okay. All right. Um, we'll get another another poem from, from Elizabeth. Do you mind sharing your last name? Uh, oh, sure. It is Fitzpatrick. Fitz, Elizabeth Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. All right. Yeah. And, and you were really on to something when you said that you felt that I explored dissolution and um, um, the, 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 Missouri Review has a contest where it's a Perkoff Prize, and it deals with health. Is Perkoff, was that a person? I don't even know, but I might try to submit. I might I, try to submit, and um, with these poems... I they, will endorse Thank it, you, thank if you, you. If you. If you need any endorsement. <laughs> well, well, this one is pretty... Um, um, and I don't even have the right voice to say it. I'm, I'm going to try to sound deep and solemn, but it's called The Golden Keys. Um, in between the silver trees... Whispers in the quiet breeze, sing of death and golden keys to heaven and a soul set free. The bark of old bore bloody signs of crucifixion, salt and wine. But gently now, the branches thin, which sounds the call to go within. In transcendence, truth we face. In the shadows, wisdom waits. Spirits rise, remain in grace, and stay the course and run the race. Amidst the storm, a silent call, the open heart upends the fall. Bearing fruit, we find release that sets us on a path of peace through branches of a silver forest pruned by a wise and unseen florist. Gentle cuts, the kindest end, by hands that love the trees they tend. In transcendence, truth we face. In the shadows, wisdom waits. Spirits rise, remain in grace, and stay the course and run the grace. Um, with heart ablaze and mind alight, a human spirit may take flight. Join me now in sacred right, the death of old, the soul's dark night. Earthly bonds begin to break, foundations of the world shake. As holy hands that shape the clay raise us up to endless day. With perfect love, let us be blessed. In perfect trust, let us find rest. Above division, unity. Beyond the stars, eternity. Within the mind, infinity. How bright the colors of the soul, and great the one that makes us whole. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. All right, so um, uh, I was uh, talking with Anne before about publishing and that kind of stuff. Uh, like, do you, uh, do, you, do you, I know you submit things, obviously, and you're considering, like, submitting something like that, but do, do you have anything that's, um, that, that's uh, of it, like, do you plan on writing a book, or do you have a little little uh, uh, booklet of poetry or anything like that? Or? Um, well, you know, it's un it's unfortunate because the way that the poetry contests work is if they're published anywhere, you can't submit them. Huh. If if you publish something on social media, for example, you can't get something into new um into the new new Yorker. There's there's a lot of restrictions about it. Huh. And so, How strange. Yeah. Yeah, and then some even if you've submitted to another contest, you can't I mean, I mean, sounds it's like really a, funny. Sounds like some strange mafioso yeah. sort of thing yeah, going on here. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I love, I love, I love your poems, and and, and I hope, um, I think we have time. Maybe we'll get one more from each of you before the end, yeah. the end of the show here, if you can. Um, but uh, let's uh, let's see if we can scoot Drew back in here and get an, get another uh, song from Mr. Baxter, who's been uh, sharing incredible, uh, heartfelt songs uh, for us this afternoon. Drew, I'm I'm really interested in 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 uh, I know we talked a little bit about it, and you say you really don't have a method for songwriting and stuff, but God damn, you write some beautiful songs. So, um, mo most inspired by by personal experience, I think. Certainly, the one with, yeah, with your sure. wife you mentioned, but for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I feel like have I'll... you have you been always? Um, uh, pardon me, but uh, um, when you were a younger man, like when you were you know a kid in school and stuff, were you, were you find yourself writing back then as well, or or, or um, something that came upon you at a certain age? Or yeah, it's it's funny actually. Um, I also started uh, writing because of a class project uh, in my sophomore year of high school. Huh. There was a, a short story <clears throat> that we read in my English class called um, To Build a Fire by Jack London. Okay. It's I love a, Jack London. Yeah, it's a really cool short story. And uh, we had to do some sort of creative project. Um, and so I was like, well, I'm going to write a song about it. And so I, I um, that was like the first song that I wrote that I was like, okay with you know and, and you were actually but you were were you already playing uh i was playing you, you were playing before instruments before that okay. but i hadn't written anything before right that. okay um, okay and then all from right. there from there it, it just uh all right that's when it really started um you know in, in high school so okay um, uh you you currently are performing as a as a as a solo artist 
do you have any aspiration or have you in the past played with a band or do you have any ideas to do something like that in the future? Or? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I think um, really. And I mean, and right now, I mean, for, for frame, I mean, I, it's not necessary. You're, right, of course. You, you, yeah. Your music really stands uh, on its own the way it's being performed right mm -hmm. here in the studio. Yeah. Of course, a lot of times you can take stuff and make it into something. Yeah, of course. That's, more, you know. Of course, or, that's that's always a, a a dream for for a songwriter or a, a, a you know a musician. Um, I definitely have um, aspirations to just share my just share my music um, as much as possible, and I, I don't really have like a uh, I don't really have a, a level beyond that. Really, like things like this, like um, being able to play my music. Like I I love doing things like this. That's that's what I want to do. I want to play. Uh, I want to play shows where um, I can play my own music and people come to listen. And um, it's it's cheesy and cliche, but if if one person uh, resonates with my music, uh, that's that's success to me. Yeah. If that makes sense. You yeah, know? I love it. So well, that's the real art. That, that that that's the art. That's the art side of it. There's obviously a monetary side of it. I mean, if you're going to do anything for a living, you got to make money. It's the way the world is. Sure. But um, but but yeah, the the. Uh, the actual art part is yeah. the is, is is the real the, the 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 foundation of it. So yeah, for sure, right, very cool. All right, um, why don't you do another one for us? Yeah, right? of course. Um, let's see. Right, it's open mic radio, by the way. KOPN Columbia eighty nine point five. You know, we don't like dead air, as a, <laughs> as, as they say. Like, oh my god, two, two, one, two, three, no more. Okay, uh, open mic radio, KOPN Columbia, uh, on the web, KOPN.org. Stick around, Rashumba. The reggae party coming at you from six o'clock until eight o'clock. All right, get your dancing shoes on, spin yourself up a big Bob Marley joint, enjoy the roots rock reggae sounds of. Rashima coming six to eight. eight to eleven is blues on Broadway, but uh, we got you now for another half an hour or so. So uh, let's get one from Drew Baxter here. All right, this next one is is a uh, one that I wrote with some friends called Seasons.
Someday we will see the way these curtains falls is everything we needed to find stages of our own. Bittersweet ain't easy. Growing up means leaving things we know. Memphis Chris. And I was like, all right, man. All right, very good. Uh, Drew Baxter, fantastic. Hey, Drew, um, do you work on the... Okay, uh, quick, quick. Uh, we'll we'll do, do a little gearhead stuff here. What kind of guitar are you playing, first of all? Yeah, this is a, this is a Martin um, X-Series uh, Triple O. Um, it's a, I think it's a Macassar wood or something like that. Okay. Um, so that's... Do you, you, that's is that what you're, you're playing something similar, Kurt? You play a Martin as well? I do. Uh, I play a, you're playing a 12 though. I play a D12 18. Oh my gosh! All right, it's all way too complicated for me. But anyway, it's a very it's nice a guitar. String. It's a fancy way of saying that. A <laughs> string with a kind of a smaller body and smaller neck. All right. Uh, do you have a a, a number of uh, different instruments that you play, or is this your is this your go-to? Or yeah, so actually, um, I love this guitar, but it's not my first choice. Um, I had. Yeah, I had a I had a double O guitar, um, an Epiphone, like uh, just a copy of a Gibson double O, and mm -hmm. that was like, I loved that thing. I only had it for a few months before the headstock broke. Oh, um, it brutal. was it was standing up in a case and it fell and the headstock broke, and so I was playing. Uh, I was about to play um, Junk Junction in Moberly. This was a few years ago. <laughs> Junk my, Junction. Yeah, it's it's a really fun festival. That's but a, anyway, um, <laughs> that's a great name. There's I was thinking it was a bar. There. It's not a, it's not a club. It's actually, no, it's like a yearly festival, like flea market <laughs> thing. Yeah. There's a song in there where you're you were. At Junk I Junction meet you down at Junk guitar. Junction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my parents my parents were coming from Illinois, and I was like, hey, I need a guitar like like fast. Too sweet. And so they came to uh, they went to Guitar Center on the way. My brother. Uh, played like played some and sent me some videos and I was like, well, that one works. Um, and so uh, it's it's really grown on me um, since then. But um, but yeah, I, I like the smaller smaller body guitars and, mm -hmm. and things like that. And I, I also have um, an electric guitar that I play. Um, it's like a it's called a B and G Little Sister. It's like a parlor sized um, guitar with P90s. I, I love that thing. So hollow much. body though or solid body? Uh, it's it's hollow body. Yeah, I think it's like semi hollow. But okay. Yeah. 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 yeah so. um, do you have uh, other instruments that you play, or are you primarily a guitarist? Mostly guitar, yeah. Guitar and bass. Um, I want to learn to play piano, but um, it's hard to teach a young dog new tricks. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we are uh, talking with Drew Baxter. He's with us this afternoon. We also have Miss Ann Wright. We've got Elizabeth Fitz Fitzpatrick. Don's in the house with us. We're doing some poetry, some wonderful music this afternoon. Uh, Soft Crisis, Penny Marvel, and uh, St. Gnome tonight at... Uh, Cafe Berlin. Um, yeah. Down at uh, Cooper's is quiet today. Nothing happening at Cooper's this afternoon. John and Andy, our good friends, uh, Randall and Reem, played at uh, uh, Down by the River last night, and that was apparently a really fun evening. If you have something that you're doing and uh, you want to share it with us, once again, 443-8255. Got a few more minutes if you want to chime in. Otherwise, we will hear a couple more poems here from the gang and uh, a couple more songs probably from uh, from Drew before we Scoot out of here and hand it over to Mr. M Mr. Rush. Rush Roomba! Rush Roomba. Rush Roomba! Rush Roomba! Rush Roomba! Okay, uh, Anne Wright is uh, one of the poets with us this afternoon. And uh, this, this is our third, I, I love doing this now. It's like our annual thing. And, mm -hmm. and I, I, really, I really do enjoy it. And um, uh, I'd like to hear another poem from you please okay uh this is a new one uh called time Heals how up. new oh a couple months ago okay uh before we go there do you do you um uh, what's your catalog like and uh do you 
uh, re- you still enjoy older things that you've written from whenever in the background or and, and as well as new stuff? Yes, uh, if I reach too far back, like uh, high school things, they tend to be a bit immature. But they just become... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I've grown a lot, and, you know, since, you know, being educated in, at Mizzou and reading and things. What did so. you study at Mizzou, do you mind me asking? Uh, no, a cultural anthropology and art history. Cool. So, yeah, that was fun. It was kind of... Uh, not, I love anthropology. I'm yeah, just it was it was interesting, and I don't remember as much as I should of the degree. But so it's not like we could sit and rap about that right now. But why don't you why don't you read us a poem instead? Yes, I would love to. Uh, this one is called "Time Heals a Broken Heart." When time seems like forever and malleable, yours, we have time. It's like a heart in your hand, soft, small, bloody, and beating. Then time shifts, changes, goes to and fro, to and fro, until it is no longer yours. It becomes broken like hearts become, bagged and no longer real. The only thing real is the heartbreak. The painful numb parallels the time break for time to heal, so they say. But time is no longer real in this black. So I wait without time, if that were possible, for my heart to heal from above. No longer on this broken track. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Miss Ann Wright, uh, uh, sharing poems with us this afternoon. The Downtown Poetry Club gathers twice a month uh, down at the Armory. Once again, the dates are usually the... The first and third uh, Wednesday of, of the month. How about yeah. the second and fourth Tuesday? I keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. first and third Wednesday of the month down at the Armory. 7 uh, p.m., yep. 7 p.m., Poetry Club. Um, and it's it's really, really a casual thing. People, anybody yeah. can come down there. You don't have to, don't have to feel self-conscious. You don't I, even have to bring anything if you don't feel like reading yet. So if you just, just want to come, come and hang listen out, right? or, to, or to hang out, yeah. Yeah, or just we'll see, to see what, this, what, what, mm-hmm. what, what it's like. Um, is there a, a – like, what, what is it like? I mean, I mean is there – like, can you can you get a glass of water, or is there like uh, snacks, or is it just a, oh, actually, a bunch yeah. of chairs sitting around? There, there, there are downstairs. You can go get free groceries. That, I think they do limit, um, you know, the how much you can take. There's a sign that says only two per family, but they have like bread and canned goods and things like that uh, that's offered as well. Uh, of course, could bring in your own drinks. Sometimes people go out after the club, kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, awesome. Okay, it's cool. A good time. Um, let's, uh, see if Don will, will do one for us. Don, do you have another, another poem you'd like to share? Yeah. Um, matter of fact, I was thinking about one I did remember, have it memorized, one that burned up in the fire. You know, this is from, this is actually from way back when I went to California before. Where are you from originally, Don? Uh, St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. And then I moved to Kansas City. And then after Vietnam, I came to Columbia, so I'm a, a complete Missourian, left and right and middle. All right, well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see, this one is... When youth is present, the paint of the soul is wet, wet and ready to be impressed with intricate etchings, or ready to be marred by a careless and unconcerned hand. As fleet-footed time opens the eyes of the naive, the color begins to harden and change. The leaves of the soul are turned from innocent white to wise green. The passing of the seasons of knowledge and the eternal blowing of the winds of experience scour indelible marks of memory on the branches of the mind. The memory of a soft, gentle rain makes the green love brilliant, but the frost bites sad and mars the surface, and the wrinkles of existence start to tell. Reminiscence and peace of mind are all that cling the aged ones to the vine. Then generous time becomes stingy and says goodbye, and the knowledge of life is raked into a heat that smokes incoherently into the sky. Wow. I call that a birth to death poem. I love it. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Yeah, we've... we've Fantastic. All right. Um, Let's get... Uh, Elizabeth in here. Oh, she's right here. I just uh, lost her on, on, in my peripheral there. But uh, <laughs> let's have another poem from Elizabeth. And then we'll do a song or two from Drew. And uh, 
we're kind of getting against the clock here and we're going to wrap things up but i'm so happy uh, to have been able to share some wonderful poetry and uh, great music with you all this afternoon let's get another one here from miss uh, elizabeth F uh, is elizabeth fitzpatrick uh, right my 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 tongue is a little too fat for my mouth but right now apparently so um Elizabeth, what would you like to do for us? And maybe tell us a little bit about your about your next poem. Well, um, I mean, and now I am a middle-aged Midwestern lady, and I have no idea what I'm doing trying to rap, but here we are. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. <laughs> so it's um, um, it's sort of a spoken word thing, and um, um, it does um, sort of come come back and um, again and again to that psychosis and how it changes you and how it changes you as an as an artist you know and listening to everyone's poems I realize so and and songs I realize that we you know it's amazing actually you guys are all coherent amazing and just, and just remarkably so thoughtful and and awesome so yeah very much so it's great I mean I mean and it's and it's like we're exploring the same landscape. no it's crazy the whole thing has come together I'm it's weird how that I'm happens <laughs> once, once in a while it just happens so uh, yeah I love it wonderful so this one is called um death and taxes so let's see here <laughs> it's Elizabeth Elizabeth Fitzpatrick and it's open mic radio <gasps> So first I'd like to hearken to when life was really dark. A heavy cup I took a drink and right away began to sink into a black hole where there wasn't light to see. Now I've got a soul like a butterfly that stings like a bee. And now it's like this. I can dab, I can whip, ride the waves like a ship, make them saw, make them square. I can see. I don't care. I've got eyes up here. I've got hair over there. And I can pop like a bubble. I can lock like a key. I've got the heavy water here at 33 degrees. I can plank like a constant. I can make a tea pose. We've got the holy grail here. We hold a burning rose. So tell me, where do you think I've been? What do you think they taught me? And I can tell you what I paid. And I can tell you what it cost me but now i can download like an oracle and make it metaphorical i go into a trance here and come back here with your answer just listen to the story then go on and take your chances but know just what you're asking because it isn't me who answers <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that was great. oh thank you <laughs> hell yeah we need to put a beat behind that one that is awesome oh thank you Michael. honestly fantastic elizabeth fitzpatrick and uh yeah, the the, the uh, Columbia Downtown Poetry Group, I, yeah, fantastic stuff, and uh, I'm so I'm so thrilled that you came and shared, and um, let's uh, we'll we'll keep it on the calendar, Han. Okay. Okay. And and all of you, uh, I I've told you many times, open invitation. If you've got nothing going on on a Saturday afternoon, come on down, say hi, and just drop in and read us a poem and and hang out with the gang. All right. Well, hey there, I write songs too. I'll see you there. I really mean that. I mean, <laughs> awesome. do I mean everyone who I mean. Do I not mean that? Call and tell them, all right? Because that, that, that's the way we roll here. So, all right? Okay, fantastic. Uh, we are, I think we got time for two more. Drew, you got two more? Yeah, of course. Okay, so um, let's do a song here from, uh, from Drew Baxter, and we'll come back and kind of kind of wrap things up and, and we'll get one more from Drew on the way out of here, okay? It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. Once again, on the web at kopn.org. We've had Don, Elizabeth, and uh, Anne uh, from the Columbia Downtown Poetry Group uh, sharing stuff with us this afternoon. Absolutely outstanding. And uh, you know, as I always say, just, just so thrilled with the arts and uh, um, uh, just the, the artistic community here in, in, in uh, Columbia and, and mid-Missouri. So um, without further delay, let's get another one here from uh, Mr. Drew Baxter. All right. This yeah. one is a song I wrote called Different State. Your heartbeat 
rhythm to which my feet sway And as the song is getting softer Won't you dance with me anyway I won't miss this place I'll miss those faces Some of them I know I'll never see again to a different state of mind I'll wait in time I'll see it to the end see it to the end all this time they say we're wasted on a dream they say we'll just have to wait darling everything's changing the joy I feel for you will stay the same All this time they say we're wasting On a dream they say we'll just have to wait Darling, everything is changing The joy I feel for you will stay the same Stay the same those faces, some of them I know I'll never see again, though I'm moving to a different state of mind, I'll wait in time, I'll see it to the end, see it to the end. All right, wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, how about it out there, everyone? All right, Drew Baxter, and uh, you're listening to it here. It's Open Mic Radio, KOPN Columbia. Wonderful show this afternoon. Glad you all could join us. We're going to get one more from Drew on the way out of here, but let me quickly say that, um, you know, you're all awesome out there, all right? Um, Have fun tonight. Get out there, do something fun. Lots happening. Uh, I think Unity Fest is still going on. We've got Pride Fest happening down there at Rose Park. There's a bunch of uh, stuff happening down at Cafe Berlin, including our friends uh, Soft Crisis. Uh, stuff like Fires are at uh, Dive Bar. They Where? Stuff oh, at Dive Bar? Bar? Yeah, it's all right. And, and again, uh, that, that's Paul, Meyer, and, um, and Kim, and uh, um, uh, the gang down there at, at, uh, at Dive Bar. So anyway, lots of great music out and about tonight. So so check it out, okay? All right, uh, Drew Baxter. All right, how about it? Soft Crisis, the Downtown Poetry Club. Fantastic stuff. You're all doing great stuff, and I'm thrilled that you're doing it. Keep doing it, please. Hopefully lots more from all of you in the future. And um, hey, Drew, you want to do you want to do a bumper for me? You wanna, how about like, uh, hi, this is Drew Baxter, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. Sure. Hey, hey. this is Drew Baxter, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio. On KOPN Columbia. On KOPN Columbia. <laughs> I can edit that and make it great. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Drew, what do you have coming up? Um, not much. <laughs> are, 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 you, you, you tend to hang out at the Monday night thing at, at Berlin, don't you? Yeah, yeah, the community showcase at Cafe Berlin. Um, and, and our, and our, our, uh, our, our friend Kind Kurt actually will be, will be performing from 6 o'clock until 6.45 hey. um, as uh, the featured artist, I guess, uh, yeah, this Monday. Th- th- so this I wanna, Monday. I want to invite all the listeners to come down Monday. And, uh, I'll be there. Yeah, from 6 to 6.45 at the community showcase. And I will personally guarantee... Anybody and everybody who shows up to the door and mentions the name of this program will get in free of charge. <laughs> you get in free. Yeah, right and you also get in free if you don't mention the show. But any, well, anyway. that's true. We didn't have to tell them that, Mike. <laughs> okay. God. Anyway, yeah, I know. I'm always blowing it, aren't I? All right. It's uh, Con Kurt, though. Honestly, uh, Monday, if you know, if you listen to this show regularly, sometimes Kurt will play some stuff for us uh, you know, during the program here. But we tend to not do our personal stuff here on the air but uh anyway kurt's an outstanding uh songwriter and 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 musician in his own right so check him out monday at cafe berlin and um and yeah down and sign up to play yourself yeah you it's a, it's, it's like an open mic thing that they, yeah. they usually feature one artist every week but then and, and then it's a well, sign up thing and right. everybody like can share their stuff so like seven on it's and 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 drew uh maybe down there again this monday yeah uh possibly yeah um 
Yeah, I, I go down there a lot, so yes. as, as often as possible. And I, I do want to say, um, I am playing uh, a few shows in, well, a few gigs in October. Um, on the on the twelfth, I'm playing in Huntsville from ten to three. It's a, it's a little uh, festival down there for like like uh, like shopping stuff like that. So I'll be playing music for that. And then on the nineteenth, from uh, four to seven, I'll be at Beckett's Winery. Um, and then after that, I'm I'm taking a break playing uh, playing gigs until the beginning of the year. So all right, all right. Well, let's get one on the way out here, and uh, one more from Drew Baxter. Um, I'm going to ask if you have a, sh a, a, a play the shortest one that you have. We're a little bit against the clock okay. here, so um, and and I, no no pressure. But anyway, um, that's it. All right. My address is uh, Mike Hagan at mikehagan.com for email. Uh, the website. Uh, you know, KOPN.org, MikeHagan.com, podcast, etc. Send me music if you like to appear on the show, all right? Um, let's have one more from Drew Baxter, and then we'll say goodbye. Let's do it. All righty. Uh, this one's called Old Man. I need some water or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah, Absolutely good. amazing. Drew, I love you, brother. Um, come back anytime. Yeah, thanks Absolutely for having me. Absolutely open invitation, and I uh, can't wait to see what you do in the future here. Uh, we're obviously uh, in touch now, so I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you very soon, okay? All right. Thanks so much. All right. We're, uh, we're getting close here um, to getting out of here. So Morgan is in the house. Uh, I'm, I'm, I take that back. Rashimba is here. And, uh Ooh, All right. So Ooh, let's... Uh, You've been listening to Open Mic Radio, all right? It's KOPN Columbia. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the weekend, okay? Be cool to yourself. Be cool to other people out there. And uh, stick around. Rashimba. Rashimba. We'll catch you all next week, okay? I, um, you guys get us Just out. want to put in a quick word. I will be playing with Ken oh, Kurt yeah. on Monday night on the majority of his songs. Love it. Memphis Chris. Uh, Monday night, 6 o'clock, starting Cafe at 6 Berlin. at Cafe oh, Berlin. We'll be there yeah, for sure. I'll be there. Be there. Yeah. Be square. All right, let's do it, guys.